What you know about Fee? She's a boss. What you say about Fee? She's a boss. Birthing bosses, birthing bosses. She's birthing bosses, birthing bosses. What you know about Fee? She's a boss. What you say about Fee? She's a boss. Birthing bosses, she's birthing bosses, birthing bosses, birthing bosses. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a wonderful day, you guys. I know y'all are like, why is this camera pointing on a pan? <laughs> well, today, guys, I am on my way out to run some errands real quick. Guys, I've been working on baskets last night. You will see on this table. I'm, I promise y'all when I get back home, I'm going to clean this table off, okay? But these are some baskets that I was working on last night, and I got those completed. I just got to get them priced and get them out to the trailer. This is a Spider-Man Spider -Man basket, guys, that I was working on, and it is completed. But that's not what I'm doing today, and that's not what I'm up here to show y'all. I'm just showing y'all all this stuff on my table. But um, anyway, so today um, I'm on my way out to ship. I actually sold another basket. Yay! Sold another basket on... I sold this one on Etsy. I sold one the other day on eBay. This one was sold on Etsy. And this, guys, is just an old box that, as you can see, it got Prime up here. So, this doesn't have anything to do with Prime or Amazon. But this is another one of the boxes. I told you guys I always keep my boxes and I reuse them. This was the perfect size box for this basket and when i tell you it is snug baby it don't have no room for ant uh snail nothing <laughs> okay nothing get in this box baby it is so tight and secure but here i actually sold this pan on ebay guys and if y'all recall these are the pans that we got from family dollar for i think i paid like two dollars for this pan um anyway i sold it on ebay for I think it was like $18.99 or something like that I sold it for. And then the person paid $12 shipping, which eBay is not going to charge me $12 for shipping. The shipping for this is probably going to be about $7 or $8. So I'll be making some money off of the shipping as well. So all together, I'm getting about a, by the time eBay take their little change, I'll be making about a $17 profit off of, $17, $18 profit off of this pan, y'all, that I paid $2 for, honey. So I'm getting ready to show you guys. Not right now because I have to go out and buy some more tape because I'm out of the um, large tape that I use for shipping. But I could not find a box that would make this be a perfect fit. So I found this little display box back there in my box stockpile. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to take these. Um, I'm going to take these lids out. And we're going to make it a flat box. And then I'm going to make a top to go on top of it. I told y'all, honey, listen, it only takes a few minutes. I know some people be like, I'd just rather go out and buy a box. Well, honey, if you rather go buy a box, then you have at it, okay? Be my guest. And buy me a few and ship them to me while you're at it. Um, but um, I'm not buying any boxes. Yes, the USPS boxes are free. But this is not... Um, this is not... Um, priority shipping okay so if you the only way you can use those usps boxes are through priority shipping unless you're gonna wrap it up and hide that it's a usps um priority box i'm not going through all of that i'm gonna do what i'm doing and um my suggestion to you is do what works best for you but i'm gonna make this box fit guys it's only gonna take me probably a good five minutes to cut these lids out with my razor lay this flat and then just lay a piece of cardboard on top and wrap it up but this is what it looks like behind the scenes for me with shipping guys so while i'm at the library i have supposed to have been got me a printer but i have not i have a printer but it, i think it, i don't know if it just needs ink or what it needs but anyway 
while I'm at the library, I'm going to go ahead and print out the label for this as well, even though I don't have it ready um, to be shipped. I will have it ready by tomorrow, this evening or tomorrow. I just sold it yesterday, so I have like two or three days to ship it. But this um, Easter basket actually was supposed to be shipped yesterday. So I need to go on Etsy and change my processing time because apparently, honey, I only got that set the one day because it's showing this morning that I am one day overdue. So I want to go ahead and get that out today so that my customer can get that before Easter. But this, I have a couple of days to work with. So if I go ahead and print the label, I already have it. I won't have to go back to the library. So anyway, guys, y'all stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so we on our way to the um, library to print off, um, to print off the labels for our package, right? Um, so I wanted to say this, so this is kind of like a two part video. I'm showing you a little bit of shipping and also wanted to talk to you guys about this because it came up in my comments a couple of times um, last night. Um, and so I wanted to address it and it actually came up in my comments last month during Valentine's Day and I was asked to address it, but I it had kind of slipped my mind and I, then I thought about it a few days ago and then it came back up in the comments yesterday so i was like let me go ahead and address this so um a lot of you are new out on the street selling and then some of you are maybe not new but this maybe is only like your second or third um season selling so you're still not all that comfortable with it um talking about payments okay so first of all the first issue that was brought up was that someone had received um counterfeit bills okay um that has never happened to me and believe it or not i've been selling for 25 years right at 25 years i kind of lose the count but it's right up in there but um i've never been got like that that i can remember um now valentine's day someone attempted to get my mom but because my mom has been dealing with thousands and thousands of dollars at the time for basically her whole life she knew the feel of the money and the look of the money wasn't right. Um, so she was able to stop that transaction before it happened, but I almost got got with three $100 um, dollar counterfeit bills. So when that situation happened, I went to Office Depot, and this is where you guys can go. I'm sure they probably sell them somewhere else, um, some other type of office supply store or something like that, but um, you can definitely, um, you can definitely um, go to a store like that to um, get your um, counterfeit pins to check to make sure your um, bills are not counterfeit. Sorry, y'all, I lost my train of thought. I was saw somebody I thought I knew. Um, so um, go ahead and get you one of those so that way you do not be forced um, or you know be on the a verge of taking some bills that are not and you know and if you some of these hundred dollar bills do look fake and they're actually real so just to be on the safe side get you a counterfeit marker so that you can tell okay the other thing that came up was about cash app that some people had received cash app payments and the cash app payments um got reversed like they got the product paid you their cash app and then reversed the payment so that you were then left without money. Um, I don't know a whole lot about that per se with cash app because that has, again, has never happened to me with all the years of doing cash apps and all the years of selling. I've never had that to happen to me. Um, but the individual said that one of the other basket makers had had that to happen. You know, I don't know who it was or how it happened because I didn't see the details or see the details on a video. I just read the comment from one of my subscribers. Um, I've never had that to happen with PayPal or Cash App and the individual was saying that someone had that to happen with both. Now with PayPal, I do know that you can dispute, um, you know, dispute transactions like that with them and you should probably be okay with PayPal. But as far as Cash App, I don't know, but I've never had it. So this is the thing. So I, the individual was saying that they were not going to take Cash App payments. I'm not telling you what to do and what not to do, but I can tell you um, from being an expert in this game, um, 
you want to be able to take all forms of payment okay you want to be able to take cash app you want to be able to take cash you, you want to be able to take debit cards you want to be able to take um venmo zelle you want to be able to take apple pay you want to have all you may not be able to right now but these are things again that you need to work forward to this is something we talked about on the video yesterday things that you need to be progressing and bossing up in if you're not you know mastered those th things in your business as of yet those are things that you can look forward to getting done okay um so um i make thousands of dollars i mean like i know um one time i i i um cashed out over four thousand dollars at one time on my cash app for valentine's day so just imagine that was just cash app at one time now, you know i had more days coming up that i had to use cat that i accepted cash app but one particular transaction I cashed out four thousand dollars because I wanted to go ahead and get that money off of my cash out before something happened. Um, imagine if I hadn't accepted cash out, I would have been out of thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying? So I personally can't afford to say I don't accept cash out because when you're dealing on the streets, you got to have a whole different type of mentality. Okay. You're dealing with people on the streets. You're dealing with people that's of the streets. Most times, not all times talking for me i'm dealing with people of the streets i'm dealing with people that don't have bank accounts don't have and this may sound far-fetched to some of you all but i'm telling you what type of clientele i deal with and they're faithful people okay i, I wouldn't be on the same street and in the same business for over 20 some years if they weren't but i have to accommodate their need okay i'm there to provide a service for them so with that being said you may get got you may get got you may get got for some money you might get got for a cash app transaction but i promise you y'all if that does happen it's gonna be far it's gonna be far far fetched it's not like 10 people come and give you cash app and out of 10 of them seven of them gonna reverse the payment and you're gonna be out of seven payments for seven baskets it's not gonna happen like that if it does happen we've got to learn how to not let one apple spoiled a bunch okay because sometimes we'll have one bad encounter and we'll let that mold or make the pattern of our business or the pattern of our life we'll have one bad encounter with a person and then we'll think everybody is like that so when you think about it from the business aspect um you can't afford not to take cash yet baby that's how most people pay for stuff now you can't afford um, not to be able to slide folks' cars. I don't even take cash. I don't take cash anywhere. So if all you take is cash, guess what? I won't be one of your customers. If all you take is debit cards, you know what I'm saying? That person may not be, because some people honestly don't have bank accounts. They only have cash app cards, okay? Sad but true, all right? I know people like that. Um, I try to teach people a different way, but you know, it is what it is. You're dealing with reality and you're dealing with people and you're providing a service to the people, okay? So don't let allow one bad encounter to detour the way that you run your business, okay? Because do you gonna be out of many, many dollars, okay? What if Food Line, Piggly Wiggly, Publix, um, what if all these local grocery stores, what if they was like, we don't take food stamps? You, if you don't take food stamps, then guess what? you're going to be out of a whole lot of customers because guess what? Majority, not all, praise God, I've been delivered from that system, but baby, I ate it up for years. Um, and if people had told me that they didn't accept food stamps, I would have been out of, um, you know, going there to buy groceries and they would have been out of hundreds of dollars, okay? Because I was getting a nice little amount of food stamps. So if you're telling people you don't take Cash App, I received two and three hundred dollars from one person at one time off a of Cash App. I personally, I ain't able to do it. Okay, so you do what you're able to do, but keep all of these things in mind when you are dealing in business that you need to be able to accept all forms of payment. Okay, I love you guys. I'm gonna get on off because this video got a little bit long. Hopefully you guys stayed to the end because the ending is where the meat was. Okay, maybe you're not concerned about shipping. You don't ship. 
but hopefully you stayed to the end. If you stayed to the end, I want you to put in the comments, the end. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all.